Are you sick of landing pages that just don't cut it? Hi, I'm Philip, and with over two decades of experience in web design and development, I've helped countless businesses turn their landing pages from boring to brilliant. Wow. And today, I'm going to show you how to create landing pages that not only grab attention, but also convert visitors into customers. Thanks to our sponsor, Mobin. Mobin is an awesome tool that will help you level up your landing page game, and I can't wait to show you how. Landing pages are a make or break deal for any business. They're often the first thing potential customers see and first impressions matter. A killer landing page can skyrocket your conversion rates, turning casual visitors into loyal customers. And when you optimize your landing pages, you're not just improving the user experience, you're driving more sales and smashing your business goals. Let's talk about some common mistakes people make when designing landing pages. First up, cluttered layouts. If your landing pages look like a garage sale, people are going to bounce faster than you can say conversion rate. Next, weak call to actions. If your call to action is buried or unclear, don't expect visitors to magically figure out what you want them to do. Make it bold and make it obvious. Then there's the issue of slow load times. If your page takes forever to load, say goodbye to potential customers. Speed matter, folks. And another biggie is poor mobile optimization. And with so many people browsing on their phones, your landing page needs to look and work great on all devices. And lastly, don't forget about trust signals. Missing testimonials, reviews, or any form of social proof can make your page feel sketchy and unreliable. Avoid these pitfalls and you'll be well on your way to creating landing pages that actually convert. So let's get into how you can create high converting landing pages that actually work. First things first, research and inspiration. Before you start designing, you need to see what's working out there. But who has time to download hundreds of apps and take thousands of screenshots manually? Not you, right? And that's where Mobin comes in. Our sponsor for today's video. Mobin is the world's largest and most comprehensive UI and UX reference library. Imagine having over 300,000 tagged screenshots and 62,000 user flows at your fingertips, updated every week. Damn! It's like having a cheat sheet for top-notch design ideas. And Mobin features over 1,200 industry-leading apps, so you can easily find real-world design inspiration without sifting through a bunch of conceptual stuff. Need to benchmark and do competitor research? Mobin's got you covered. Want to discover best practices and stay up to date with the latest trends? Look no further. So let me show you just how it works. To give you a quick example of how Mobin works, it's quite easy. Besides the iOS and Android apps, you also have the web section. And within web section, you have marketing pages in which you can filter for landing pages specifically. Of course, if you're interested in looking at hero sections, which might be the most important part of a landing page, there is a designated area for that as well. Within landing pages, if I would scroll down, I can see how many rich examples there actually are for any inspiration that I would need to create the best landing page for my clients. But even further, I will see if I can open one up. And as you can see here, I can watch the single screen or I can even toggle it to full page, giving me the option to scroll through the page entirely. And if I would say this would be an example worth keeping, I can add it to my landing pages library. And whenever I go back to library, I see landing pages and in here, this is my collection of the landing pages specifically for this topic. Just hop onto Mobin, search through their fast collections of screens and flows, and bam, you've got all the inspiration you need. Plus, you save hours on research and benchmarking. It's like magic, but better because it's real. Now, let's talk about crafting compelling content. Your headlines, subheadings, and body content need to grab attention and keep it. Follow the story brand framework. Make it clear what problem you're solving, how you're solving it, and why visitors should care. Align your content with user intent, speak directly to their needs and desires. Don't just sell a product, sell a solution to their problem. Next up, design principles. Keep your design clear and uncluttered. Visual hierarchy is key. Make sure the most important elements stand out. Your call to action should be impossible to miss. Use contrasting colors, bold fonts, and strategic placement to draw the eye. For example, if you want users to sign up, make that button big and bold right at the top. User experience is crucial, 
Ensure your landing page is intuitive and easy to navigate. Don't make visitors hunt for information. Mobile responsiveness is a must. Your page needs to look and work great on any device. And don't forget about load times. A slow page is a dead page. Optimize images, minimize scripts, and do whatever it takes to keep things speedy. Finally, testing and iteration. Don't assume you got it perfect on the first try and use A-B testing to see what works best. Try different headlines, images, and call to action. Gather data and continuously improve. The more you tweak and test, the better your results will be. So follow these steps and you'll be on your way to creating landing pages that captivate and convert. To give you an example of a landing page that is designed very well, I want to take a look with you to the linear landing page. It is a landing page that's being copied by a lot of different designers and SaaS products and well, quite technology driven products almost. And for those who don't know what linear is, it's a well, more modern <laughs> competitor to things like Jira, which is a place where developers can manage a backlog when they're working on a product. And let's dive into the landing page and see what we can figure out from the other stuff we talked about in this video. First of all, the heading, linear is a better way to build products. So they don't talk about the what is it. Yes, it's a backlog with items or issues that developers need to pick up, but it's actually a better way to build products, which is the bigger value that offers. So it, they call themselves the new standard for modern software development, streamline issue sprints and product roadmaps. They show visually how the product looks. It has a small animation in the border, which draws a nice little visualization. A clear call to action, get started. In the top, you see the login and sign up, but get started is of course like a, a strong action. Powering the world's best product teams for next gen startup to established enterprises. So no matter if you're a big team or a small team, you can use the tool. And then they go into more detail. So pay close attention to the copy as well. So unlike any tool you've used before. So I think if you've used Jira before, it's not a real happy, happy experience. It's a pain in the ass to configure. There are so many bells and whistles that maybe the regular de developer would not need. So they go into more details. They talk about build for keyboard. They have this interactive hover widget. They actually show the highlights of the keys on the keyboard as well. So why is this an important thing? Well, developers are really, well, expert users. So a lot of them would probably prefer the ability to work with shortcuts. So having that as a highlight allows people to work really fast. And I can imagine that that for a lot of developers would be a big benefit. It's really fast, which Jira also isn't. It's designed for modern software teams. I think it's a bit generic, but modern. I think we all love modern tools. And it has a command line, which is also an interactive widget. And you can even type, go to, find, create, change, priority. So there are a few examples of what the command line can do there. Issue tracking you'll enjoy using. It is the example of the issue. Create tasks in seconds. Discuss issues in context and breeze through your work in views tailored to you and your team. So why do they mention this? Because probably in other tools, developers would have to go through views that they would find frustrating that may not be relevant to their team. So I'm thinking maybe about some sort of roadmap or to a view that might be more relevant to product managers and not to developers. Parents and sub issues, filters, custom views, automated backlog, auto close, auto archive. There's discussions, custom workflows and templates. Then underneath they talk about the lists and boards and make it yours. So you can also filter and create custom views. And this is something that I personally really like is to build momentum with cycles. So if you, no matter if you use sprints or cycles, whatever you want to call it, you can have a good visualization of the progress that's being made. Set directions with roadmaps, another amazing feature that helps you keep the eye on the bigger picture. And this goes on and on. And so sign up for free or download the app. So why is this a good landing page? If I scroll all the way back to the top, I think it really talks about the value. So it's not just saying this is the product that builds the backlog, it helps you to build better products. And it has a really good and clear idea on the benefits of the product and how it actually helps the user. 
They don't talk about us and we, but they give us the tools that we need to make our lives and our day-to-day -day better and easier. So I think that's something we can all take along with this when we're designing our next landing page. So let's recap the points we discussed. Effective landing pages are crucial for making a great first impression and boost conversion rates. Avoid common pitfalls like cluttered layouts, weak call to actions, slow load times and poor mobile optimization or missing out trust signals. Use Mobin to find real world design inspiration quickly and effectively and follow the story brand framework for compelling content. Apply design principles, prioritize UX and always test and iterate to continuously improve. And if you want to take your landing page designs to the next level, give Mobin a try. It's a game changer for anyone serious about creating high converting landing pages. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Share your landing page questions or your favorite landing page in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy designing.